It's time for your happy hour and a half. Live from the 5 Eyewitness News Studios, it's Twin Cities Live. Hey everybody, welcome into Twin Cities Live. So happy that you're here with us today on a cloudy and cold day, but look who is brightening up our studio. Yeah. It is Chris Hockey, everybody from KFAN Radio, from the Power Trip Morning Show. You work with Ben weekly, and yeah. then he's on vacay, and now you're picking up the slack here, too. That's exactly right. Basically, I just go around and clean up whatever he leaves behind, so that's <laughs> what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, I, I wish I was on vacation with him, but instead, I get to be here with you. It's so nice yeah, that you're it's, here. It's really great. And Thank you brought you. all of your buddies here, too. This yeah. is very exciting. Uh, you always want to listen to Chris on the KFAN Power Trip Morning Show. Here Oof. he is with the guys. Look at that guy. Meat sauce. And Corey, that's the like, I'm slightly confused, but interested in what you have to say expression yeah, from you, Yeah, somebody just said something I didn't agree with. You Isn't can see that it right probably there. Yeah, true? That's probably true. Um, and then you've got your Rocket Club buddies here, too. Tell us about this. It's very exciting. We uh, I put together a record last year and played a couple of shows, and we've uh, moved right into doing it again this year. Just spotty shows here and there, not a lot of them. So we get to play two shows coming up in St. Cloud and the 30th at Ames Center here in Burnsville, a great theater. Yeah. So we're promoting that, and I'm excited to have the guys come out. We're going to play a song for you. That's what's going to happen mm -hmm. a little bit later on in the show. It's going to be so much fun. Also, it is Spring Clean Week uh, right now, brought to you by Johnson Junk Removal. This is very good stuff. Tis the season. We got to clean things up a little bit. Our buddy Mike Fratelloni, you know Mike, I'm sure. I know sure. Mike, I absolutely do. Um, so he's here, and uh, we're going to go outside because he's going to help us prepare our grills for the season. Mike always has perfect timing, so it's coming two days before a massive snowstorm. That's perfect. I, I brought a light jacket, so I hope it's not too cold out there. I think it's going to be good. It's be okay but you know, you just get out there, you clean things up. Just good. a little bit of cleaning. Yeah, let's makes cook a some world steaks. Let's do it. Oh, that sounds good. And then uh, producer Betsy Moline is here. She is going to recap last night's dramatic episode of The Bachelor. I've never heard them say that it wasn't dramatic. I haven't seen it yet, so I hope they don't blow it for me. Oh, I'm well, I yeah. hope you're going to have to just, she's she's not going to do the spoilers. Yeah, okay, you're good. You're just going to know okay, good. what happens. Um, and then, before 4 o'clock today, someone special is going to get to trade in this chilly weather that we're experiencing for a trip down south to Orlando, Florida. Mm. So here's what we're going to do, Chris Hockey. We're going to get clues, okay. and then we're going to find out where Kristen Hobrick lands. She is live though right now with a clue about where this recipient lives and she apparently had to stop to get gas. Did you not plan very well here, Kay Hawks? What happened? <laughs> oh, come on now, Iris. No gas. No, there's something I'm holding in my hand, a reason for this stop. Okay, so the winner of today's Surprise Florida Flyaway, they live in Minnesota's sixth largest city with a population size hovering right around 86,000 people. People. And back in January, I highlighted the town's iconic drive-in restaurant. I can't say the name. They're known, though, for their burgers and their delicious shakes. Oh, there she goes. Oh, Look at the dramatic burger bite. Mm -hmm. uh, she oh, should yeah. be on a burger commercial. Look at, oh, oh, she lost it. <laughs> Man, where'd that go? Okay. <laughs> I can't remember where that Any was. Any guesses? I loved the spot, but I can't remember what city you're in. Sixth largest city, yeah. population 86,000. Do you have any guesses? That's a pretty big city. No, I, I should know where that drive-in is because if there's a cheeseburger being made in the Twin Cities area, I know about you know it most about of the time. It. Yeah. So good. All right. <laughs> well, we're going to find out more. Okay. And if you do need to get yep. gas, just stop. Like, stop now because yeah. I know you got to go on your yeah. way to something okay. else. Okay. Sounds good. We'll look around here. Okay. Thanks, Kristen. <laughs> this is really fun. By Seth, people get very surprised and very excited. They're going to win a trip that they had no idea that they're going to get. We're giving them their way today on the show. This show? That's huge. We have a huge budget. I, I, it sounds like you really do. That's really great. Right? <laughs> it's very fun. Okay, so I want to hear what's happening with you um, and what's going on particularly with this motorcycle. Do you have motorcycle news or what's well, going on? I have on? lots of different news. Yeah, so this is going to be a big year for me. I've decided uh, what I'm going to do is uh, explore the United States a little bit because I've been playing so many concerts and doing so many things during the summertime for the last X number of years. You're very, very busy. We I might say shows. that I think you're too busy. Thank you for saying that. You're I welcome. feel the same way. So yeah. this year I, I've actively... Uh, forced myself to clear my calendar. I bought a, a conversion van, a beautiful GMC. Look at that thing. Oh my Look gosh. at that thing right there. This yeah. brings me back to my youth. What year is this? That's a sweet? 2017, but she drives like she's brand new. I ain't gonna lie to you. A 2017? Yeah, I, I didn't know. even know they were still making those well, like that in they, 2017. They, if you look in the right spots, they make them. Yeah. <laughs> so I got my van there and it'll, it cruises along nicely. I, I'm gonna drive around on that. And then I also traded in my big Harley for this touring version 
version of the Harley Davidson where you can ride 200 miles on one tank of gas. <gasps> I'm going to explore the entire United States one city at a time. I'm going to start in the Black Hills. I got a spot on the back right there. If you're ever interested, you can jump on there. I would love to. I feel like you would be a safe motorcycle driver. I'm There's very safe. few people that their motorcycle I would jump on the back of, but you yeah. would be at the list that I would do it. That's a compliment. I take that. Okay. Yeah. This is very exciting. Yeah. So what do you feel like you've been missing out on? Like there's other cities and stuff that you've sure. been missing out on seeing because you're always like you're going, 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 yeah. but you're not necessarily seeing the things that you've wanted to see. You nailed it. I mean, we played in West Bend, Wisconsin this last weekend. Rocket Club did a beautiful little city, two nights there, and I got to see about that much of the city, yeah. you know? Yeah. So that's, I want to kind of go uh, remedy that, but I, I don't want to just see, you know, Wisconsin, which is beautiful. I, I want to, I'm going to the Black Hills. I want to, I want to take a trip down Route 66, you know? Mm -hmm. I want to see all of the United States and kind of go around. So that's going to be my project this year, and I'm, I'm laying out the, the groundwork. I actually set aside the time on the calendar, I'm actually going to do it this time. So it's going to be my traveling year. This is sort of what's happened to you since I think, you know, you turned 50 in the yep. last few years. Mm -hmm. You became an empty nester. Yep. You're all like you and your wife are just exploring. What do we want our life to look like? This is a new phase and you could be sort of like, I don't know what my identity is anymore, yeah. but instead you're just creating that. Well, and that's the thing. I mean, honestly, I started, uh, we started, Alex, we had him when I was 23. He's yeah. our oldest, and, you know, and uh, so I never really experienced the kind of getting out and, and doing things as a, as a younger man, but there's a curse and a blessing there as we were talking about. Yeah. I, I like the idea that now uh, both our kids are, are grown and they're living their lives, and now I'm going to kind of check it out on my own and start uh, seeing what I can do. So I have a lot of learning to do, a lot of places to see, so... The motorcycle, the van. It's seat six. Ben can't come, though. Okay. Yeah. I, I just, I don't know. That smell of that guy in a van by myself for too long. I'm not sure. It's just too much. It'd be too much. Okay, I yeah. understand. Okay, tell me about these movies that you watched that are life-changing. Are you sure you're ready for this? I'm always ready for this. Anything <sighs> you have to say, I want to hear All right, about. now, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I like to talk. So if I get going too long, just give me the, well, give me that. Well, our producers are great at that. Yeah. They, they say my least favorite word often. It's called rap. Yeah, oh. yeah, I hear, yeah. I just start rapping when I hear that, so be careful with that, too. <laughs> Um, the first one is, uh, um, it, it won an Oscar, so it's been out for quite some time. It's called A Zone of Interest, and uh, The Zone of Interest. It's an incredible film, um, strangely enough, about the family who lives on the other side of the wall from Auschwitz, okay? Oh. The, the, the man, the, the person who runs Auschwitz lives there and is raising his family. The thing about this movie is, is it's all about the sound of the movie. You hear what's going on behind that wall. You know what's going on behind the wall. You hear the dogs from time to time. You hear gunshots. But you're also seeing a family who's just raising a family, living their lives. And what it's trying to remind you is that they're not monsters. They're humans who become monsters. Anybody can be this person. Any, anybody can be corrupted to become this bad of a person. It's a reminder we all need to have, especially right now, that normal people can become monsters and we have to take care of each other and take care of ourselves. Boy, that's really interesting. Yeah, great movie. Okay, I haven't seen that. Mm -hmm. I'm, okay, now I'm going to watch that for yep. sure. And then what's Perfect Days? Now, Perfect Days, this is the one I get emotional about because this is a Japanese film, all subtitles, about this gentleman. You really know what's, don't have any idea what's going on because what you see is him living his normal day every day. He walks outside, he looks at the sun, he waters his plants, he goes to work, he works cleaning toilets around the park in, uh, in his hometown, and then he goes home. Each day he lives the same day. And you see that a couple of times before you realize that's the point of the film. Um, his, uh, he has a young niece that comes and lives with him for a couple of days, and you find out this is a man of great wealth who chooses to live this life. Mm. The reason he chooses to live this life is because this is all he needs to be happy. This is the simplicity. Absolutely. He walks outside every day, and he looks in the sky, and he sees the sun, and it makes him smile. And he waters his plants. And he waters his plants, and yeah. it makes him smile. And I'll never forget the last scene of this film, um, him driving. I won't tell you where he's going or why he's driving. And he just looks up at the clouds, and he smiles, and he cries, and he smiles, and he cries. And it just reminds you that money isn't what matters. Yeah. Uh, even, you know, your successful career isn't yeah. as much what matters mm -hmm. as your ability to take a moment and look at something that makes you happy and enjoy it. Aww. So if, you, if you're happy cleaning toilets, clean toilets. If you're happy doing a TV show, just be happy doing what you're doing and try to enjoy life. And so that movie had a profound impact on me, more so. In fact, when I left this, the, uh, the theater, I didn't think I got it. But then I was telling somebody about it and realized, oh my gosh, I did get it. That's what it's about. You it's about it. enjoying your life. Wow. Yeah. Chris Great Hockey, movie. this is really good. Okay, I'm going to save this piece yeah, of paper please do. so that I remember these and perfect so that I days. watch them. That's I the love I that. Yes. Okay, well, we're hoping that the Vikings have some perfect days coming up. Uh, hmm. You are part of the Vikings Radio Network yeah. team. Lots happening in the off season. You know, Ben keeps us up to date on things, but this sure is does. really interesting to hear 
your take. And I always love the pictures of you guys when you're on the plane yeah. flying to wherever. And you're always making some goofy face. And yep. then Ben is just obsessing over the snacks that are on the charter flight. He likes to take pictures with food in his mouth. Does he do that here too? Because it's a really weird thing. But no, it's, you know, I, listen, I stopped growing when I was sixth in sixth grade. You know, I'm five, six, right? So being on the team flights is always just a, a dream come true for me. And I love this job that I do. I travel around like the guy who, you, your director, your producer's here, you know, roll camera six. I'm the guy who says, okay, PA talks now, Ben talks now, whatever, and tell him what's going on. Yeah. But that also kind of opens up the door to have Ben Lieber in my ear during every game, yeah. breaking down football in a way I would never, ever get. He's telling me, watch the linebacker, watch he's, what he's going to do here, the uh, receiver, watch what he's going to do here. So I know a little bit of something about football, but I'm also just a fan. That's great. You know, so when I see things like that are happening right now with my favorite team, I get kind of excited. Yeah. Even I, even losing Kirk Cousins, hated to see that. Yeah. But I was pretty happy that we didn't give him the contract that Atlanta did. I think that really would have handcuffed our squad for a long, long time. Yeah, because so, it's just too much money, right? It is. So mm -hmm. whether you're a Kirk Cousins fan or not, I think this was the right move for our Minnesota Vikings. The guy we got to make sure we do keep JJ. is JJ. Mm -hmm. Justin Jefferson. I mean, uh, this kid, the best receiver in the NFL, I'll, I'll argue anybody if they want to try to tell me somebody else's. He's the guy you want to keep. He's going to be a star on this team for a very long time. So what do you do? Well, Is he going to pick the guy who gets to throw the ball to him or you know, what? That is a great question, isn't it? The yeah. guy that it looks like right now that's going to be throwing him the ball is Sam Darnold. We traded, actually I should say, we signed him to a one-year deal. Yeah. He's a journeyman quarterback, been in the league for some time. Um, a high draft pick who's really not had great success in the NFL. I, I think that's an understatement. You've seen some things he can do, but you've seen a lot of his shortcomings as well. This is our guy who's going to be our starting quarterback, at least right now. Oh. But what are we going to do in the draft? This is where the NFL season becomes literally 12 months a year. That's why you got to love that. Isn't that exciting? The draft is coming up. We made some big moves, I think, to get this kid right here. J.J. McCarthy, Which the one quarterback. Is he? He's oh, the right number there? nine right there, the there quarterback for the uh, national champion. Michigan Wolverines. Oh, those Wolverines, though. I know. I feel the same way. And I'll tell you, there are a lot of people who have a lot of uh, things about him they don't like. But this is a kid who's a leader uh, who can get the ball to Justin Jefferson. Justin and, and Jordan and, uh, you know, TJ Hawkinson can make up for some mistakes for a young quarterback. If we can find a way to use these two draft picks we now have mm -hmm. to get up high enough to take a J.J. McCarthy or even somebody like that, I think the, uh, the future is very, very bright for our squad. The squad is ready to go. The one spot that we need help at is quarterback. And I think we'll find that in the draft. Look at you. Uh, wow. This see? is very impressive. Oh, Let's record that and then um, we're going to send it to Ben Lieber and yeah. then he can react. Yeah, maybe he'll take some notes for once because I say things to him back in his ear all the time. He tells me I'm wrong about most of it. <laughs> I don't think you'd tell me if I was right. I really don't. We are so happy that you're here. I'm Thank happy you here. so much. Thank the good news much. is we've got a lot more to come on this show. Last night, the women from Joey's season of The Bachelor came together to tell all. This is a fan favorite tradition with this show. Find out the best and the worst moments of the night. That's coming up next on Twin Cities Live.